Hello guys, uh, this is Adam Shields. Uh, I'm the uh, author of Lifestyling. No, I'm actually not really a nerd, but I'm here with my friend Steve at Shake to Shape. Uh, he's a network marketer, and this is his herbal... <laughs> Our camera woman is laughing at us. Um, he's a, an Herbalife independent distributor, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, they have a store out here in Astoria, New York, but we were just having a, a conversation earlier about personal development, about setting goals, and about why so many people haven't set goals, and the consequences of this. So instead of just keeping the conversation to ourselves, I figured, our camera woman's laughing again. I figured, yeah. <laughs> I figured we would share our, our conversation with you. So um, just to recap a little bit about what we were talking about before, I'm going to get nervous Steve over here to, uh, to contribute to this conversation. Um, what do you think the, the biggest consequence of, uh, that people have when they don't set goals in their lives? You know, when someone hasn't set clearly defined objectives with exact dates, what do you think the, the psychological and emotional consequence of that is? Of course they will fail. They're what? They will fail. But they don't do nothing. They won't, it's yeah. action. Actually, just not long ago, like a few minutes ago, I talked to a guy. We talked in the famous quotes of Jim Rohn. It's like, if you plan to fail, you, you, know, you already you know, failed to fail. So the proper outlook. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Jim so Rohn is great. Like, I was saying, you know, if you, like you were saying, consequences is a lot, you know, it depends what what's the goal that you want to be, but most is action. It happened to everybody, it's including me, oh, yeah, that I sure. plan certain things I didn't put in action, I want it so bad. It just depends, yeah. like, oh, what's that? Um, I think it's last wrong. Mm -hmm. I was saying, you know, have you, do you know how's the hunger? The urge of hungry. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're really hungry enough, it should you know even though you're you go have for to it. find something to accomplish to get the food that you want. Let's say you start for a week, you do you eat nothing, only drinking water. It's like if there's a yeah. drumstick or a Popeyes, you know, fried chicken. On you're gonna lunge at that. Yeah, thing. maybe that's yeah. like a, a landmine totally. in front of you, but you yeah, find yeah. a way to get yeah, it. That's get how it. it's like. Yeah, so that's a point. Hunger, yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah, so no matter what obstacle, if you want something bad enough, no matter what obstacle is in your way, you're going to go for it. Yeah. But sometimes you're going to get hit by that landmine. Yes. <laughs> Failure is a huge part of accomplishing goals and success. I mean, the, the best way, let's say, like network marketing is, it just depends on different company and the system that been been set up to, to you know, for all the distributor, all the people into network marketing is, um, it's much different from the, the the traditional businesses is because there's a leader in all this company mm -hmm. and it, they won't let you to try it yourself. If you want to it's fine because it's independent. And you could try and bang in your head in the walls for like a lot of time until you bleed. You still want yeah, to bang. Totally. It's fine. Or you wanna follow your leader or someone that bring you into business that will teach you, hey, you know, I tell you what not to do and what to do. Yeah. And what those that not to do already did it, and it's bad. They don't do it. Right, if you want right. to be in Excel more faster to be successful than me, so it could do the best thing instead of the the things that is bad. You know, right. for business. But most people, I mean, human. So normally we we would maybe listen half of it. Half of it is like in doubt. So I'll try and see if it's really true what you're saying. So you know, they will end up, you know losing lots of time by totally. trying. Yeah. You bring up actually a very interesting point. When you're describing this, um, you're describing it, the same blueprint that's applied in goal setting. You know, it has to be measurable. It has to be exact, you know, your objective. You have to know exactly what you're going to do at step A, B, C, D, and E. You know, um, it, with any business too, you have to know exactly what your steps are. You have to follow the leader, you know, you have to educate yourself, maybe based on a person or by books or whatever, however you, you choose to educate yourself, and you have to determine very exact steps. Otherwise, you're going to feel confusion, you're going to feel sadness, you're going to beat your head against the wall, and you're not going to accomplish anything. So it's the same with goal setting, it's the same with business strategizing and starting businesses. You really need that clarity. 
Yeah, that's a very good point. The, the, the analogy is the same. And I guess if you were to carry that over too into your, your emotional life, you know, in general, outside of business, outside of setting goals, if you're not very clear about what you're thinking and what you're feeling, then your, your emotions are going to be mixed, you're going to be confused, you'll be sad. So that, that's very interesting, that things have to be defined. I guess we're such a disorganized being, uh, you know, human beings, that we really need to define things. That's Emotional a very... play a big part, and then another Absolutely. thing is in, in businesses or, or self-management is time management, like, right. happen to everybody. Oh yeah, like, time management really the bad. I'm like the master procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put it off till the end. <laughs> yeah, but if it wasn't for those deadlines I set for myself, I'd put it off indefinitely. I never would do it, yeah. yeah. At least I can procrastinate right to the end. <laughs> yeah. All right, so anyway, that, that, that recaps our conversation. Um, uh, I, we thought you'd find it valuable, so we put this video together. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then enter your email address over on the right-hand side. You can subscribe to, to my blog, uh, become a member for free. Uh, when you enter your email address, hit go, and I'll immediately send you a link to download a free 20-page ebook on lifestyle design and goal setting, basically similar to what we were just talking about. And you'll also receive a seven-part video course on lifestyle design and how to profit from it. Uh, again, I'm Adam Shields, the author of Lifestyling, that little book down over there. Um, and this is Steve from Shape to Shape, uh, an Herbalife independent distributor, yeah, also net mar network marketer, entrepreneur, uh, out here in Astoria, New York. And we'll see you next time. Hi, ciao. So long. Well, that's our camera woman clapping for us. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray to the camera woman.